I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Eugene Kaspersky, CEO, Chairman of Kaspersky. You've saved my computer. I know that you're uh, that you're here with a message about cybercrime. <laughs> talk me through what you're you're here at Davos to talk about. Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm really happy to see the happy customer here, uh, <laughs> and it's my job to protect uh, your computers against uh, malware, which is developed by uh, cyber criminals. Uh, but now the cyber crime is not the main and not the major problem in the internet and the digital systems. Um, we depend on computers, we depend on digital data. Digital data, it's, it's everything. Mm -hmm. uh, computer systems, networks, their national economies, uh, global economies, they depend on that. And unfortunately, now we are facing their new threats. Uh, I call it cyber weapon. Uh, cyber, cyber, weapon. cyber weapon, cyber terrorism, uh, cyber sabotage. Uh, when the malware, the computer systems, are uh, used to attack uh, industrial systems or transportation network or power grid. Well, it, 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 it's a theory. We don't have any report about uh, such incidents. But uh, there was an incident when there was attack against Iran mm -hmm. last year. And that was an example when their malware, their virus code, physically destroyed uh, nuclear nuclear facilities in, in Iran. So physically destroyed nuclear facilities in Iran, meaning what? What could have happened? Uh, I'm afraid that um, the same the same can happen with uh, other systems mm -hmm. and in different countries. Uh, mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, the uh, modern industrial systems are modern well, everything. Mm -hmm. When you get to the, ele to the hotel, you get to the elevator, you press a button. Yeah. Who decides which elevator comes first? Right. There's a little computer somewhere right. on the roof, maybe, yeah. we don't know. And it's everywhere. Yeah. All the system, transportation, uh, water supplies, uh, everything mm -hmm. depends on the IT, on the computer systems. And uh, usually uh, it's built in this way. So there is a system, there is some mechanical stuff. And there's a special computer, it's not a usual computer, it's not Windows or mm -hmm. Mac or Linux, no, it's a very special machine, but it's computer. And this computer manages the system, mm -hmm. the physical system. But sometimes this computer is connected to Windows or Linux machine. Mm -hmm. uh, engineer have to check this, right. uh, this uh, special device or upgrade the software there or modify the software for the new mm -hmm. physical environment. And this is a case when this uh, special machine can be infected. Okay. And if the code, if the infection is designed in a mm, not right way, but mm -hmm. uh, in a special way, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, many cases it can physically damage their physical system. Uh, doesn't matter what's at the, mm -hmm. this site, anything, anything which is managed by computers. And I'm afraid this is one of the most serious problems in the in the global world, uh, in our now and in the future, and uh, that's why I think uh, that was uh, that was from welcome IT security experts because this is one of the major risks. So, what are governments doing about it? How are people listening to your story? What are they What are they doing about policy? Are, are we changing? Uh, well, there are two stories. First, about cybercrime and about cyber weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, good news about cybercrime. Uh, finally, governments started to talk to each other to have an international uh, communication and agreements against cybercrime. So, uh, good news is that I'm sure cyber criminals will have a very, very, very bad time. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will be less risk to lose your personal data, your bank account information, or what right. else. This is this part, cybercrime part of the story. Talking about cyber weapon, um, unfortunately, there is only one small good news. Uh, governments started to understand that the problem is serious. Right. Uh, the bad news is they still don't understand that the malware, military malware, or any types of the attack in the internet, it's a boomerang. Right. You attack someone, you will teach the victim. Right. They will learn from you and you'll have exactly the same back to you computer systems. And I try to explain my point of view, my idea uh, to governments uh, 
in any case I have a chance to talk to governments to explain stop cyber weapons, stop cyber wars. And uh, we have agreement against uh, nuclear weapons to control mm -hmm. and uh, to limit mm -hmm. owners right. of uh, nuclear weapons. And it works. Mm -hmm. Well, not in 100%, yeah. but it, it works quite well. So my idea is to have an international agreement against cyber weapons. To have exactly the same agreement. Don't develop that. If you do that, don't distribute that. Don't use that. To control that don't let others to do exactly the same things and this is the only way to save this world right. actually because can you imagine the world without internet or the world which is attacked by these types of malware no uh, <laughs> did you see die hard for yeah watch it again right <laughs> Jean, thank you so much for stopping into the Hub Pavilion here in Davos. Very sobering discussion about cyber terrorism. I'm Evie Lash. Thank you very much. I did my best to scare you. <laughs>